हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन होम रो थ्री रूल्स फॉर सब्सिट्यूशनल सोलिड सोलिबिलिटी बिफोर दिस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन सोलिड सोलिड सोल्यूशन एंड देयर वी हैव सीन देर हाउ वे वट वट विल है वट हैपन वेन वी एड टू मेटल्स एंड Uh, how solid solution is formed now uh, uh, there is home rule three a scientist who studied a number of alloy systems and formulated the conditions that favor extensive substitution solid solubility and these uh, these rules are known as home rule three rules and uh, there is one thing that if uh, these rules are not followed and uh, if alloying element is uh, chosen at random it is likely to form an intermediate phase instead of a solution so uh, here uh, i want to explain to you that what is the phase what is a phase a phase in a material in terms of its microstructure is a region that differs in structure uh, and or composition from another region uh, for example uh, if there is ice in a uh, glass and uh, it is melting now there is a solid and liquid two phases uh, i think you have understand what is a phase and now uh, i will explain what is a intermediate phase uh, when an alloying element is added to a given metal in such amount that the limit of solid solubility is exceeded a second phase appears along with the primary solid solution for um, uh, more often the second phase that appears is an intermediate phase this differs in both crystal structure and properties from either primary solid solution okay for example uh, if there is salt and i am adding it uh, in water then what will happen after some time salt uh, will uh, stop to uh, to uh, to mix in the water and it will precipitate at the bottom now th there uh, there will be two phases one is the uh, liquid phase and uh, at the bottom there will be solid phase Uh, the same condition will be in the case of uh, intermediate phases in the case of alloy okay now uh, come to the next page uh, this is uh, this is the home rule three rules so what uh, rules have home rule three have established uh, number 1 is the size factor size factor Uh, for two metals to have extensive solid solubility the atoms or ions of both should be of same or almost same atomic radius in order to minimize the lattice strain and increase stability so according to this first rule uh, the metals uh, which we choose to make an alloy should be of same size and uh, uh, if there is uh, there is more difference than and uh, this uh, then uh, this will this solution <coughs> this alloy will not be formed or uh, uh, this difference should be uh, less than 15% 15% okay okay next is the crystal structure next is the uh, that must uh, the elements must have same crystal structure otherwise transition may occur from one phase to a second phase with different structure uh, for example uh, both should have fcc or bcc like this next is the valence ions must have same valence otherwise the valence electrons differ and creates the formation of compounds rather than the solution 
यदि दोनों का बैलेंस में ज़्यादा डिफरेंस होगा तो क्या होगा तो ये आपका संभावना है देर इज पॉसिबिलिटी टू फॉर्म में कंपाउंड इनिशियट ऑफ एलाउ नेक्स्ट इज द इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी इज द एफिनिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी डिफरेंस शुड बी लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट फोर इफ द इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी डिफर सिग्निफिकेंटली देन कंपाउंड आर फॉर्म्ड तो दीज आर द रूल्स विच मस्ट बी फॉलो टू फॉर्म टू फॉर्म एन एलो ओके नाउ हेयर वी कम ऑन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द फिश डाइग्राम एंड वी विल सी दैट वाट इज द फिश डाइग्राम एक्चुअली फिश डाइग्राम्स विल बी इम्पॉर्टेंट टू स्टडी अबाउट द हीट ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस and this is the graph uh, that uh, what will happen when we uh, heat to an alloy or metal so uh, what is the phase diagram phase diagram okay one minute <clears throat> phase diagram for alloy system is extremely important because there is a strong correlation between microstructure and mechanical properties okay फेस डायग्राम जो एलॉ सिस्टम के जो फेस डायग्राम है वो काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि माइक्रो स्ट्रक्चर और और मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज़ के बीच में रिलेशन है एक्चुअली मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज़ आर डिपेंड ऑन द माइक्रो स्ट्रक्चर एंड वी कैन स्टडी द माइक्रो स्ट्रक्चर विद द हेल्प ऑफ फेस डायग्राम फेस डायग्राम प्रोवाइड्स इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट मेल्टिंग कास्टिंग क्रिस्टलाइजेशन एंड अदर फिनोमिना फेस डाइग्राम्स आर मैप्स that shows a uh, shows the phases present and relationships between the phases in equilibrium in a system as function of temperature pressure and composition phase diagrams are also known as equilibrium diagram equilibrium diagram or constitutional diagrams and now here the classification of phase diagrams uh, we can classify uh, phase diagram on the basis of component the that there is one component two component or three components and extra uh, if there is one component uh, this is called unitary phase diagram if there are two component this will be called binary phase diagram and if there there are three component then this uh, this will be called ternary phase diagram okay now we come on the next topic and uh, okay uh, now to uh, about uh, uh, okay before going to study about the phase diagram here are some basic terminologies we will study and uh, the first is the what is a component uh, so here is the definition of component component uh, refers to the independent chemical species that comprise the alloy for example in ice water system component is h2o in copper nickel uh, nickel system copper and nickel are components in copper zinc system components are copper and zinc the components of an alloy may be elements ions or compounds for example yahan par humne jaise example liya ki jo aapka ice water system hai wahan par component kya hai h2o that that is compound in copper nickel copper and nickel are the elements like this okay next uh, topic is the system what is the system system is a specific body of material under consideration consisting of the same components but without regard to alloy composition uh, so system hai for example uh, if there is a water in a chamber then uh, may there may be water vapor and there may be ice then there are ice in solid form water in liquid form and and uh, water vapor in in gas form but uh, this all whole is a system in the same case uh, uh, if we talk about the iron carbon then iron car uh, carbon in iron this is a system the system is a specific body of material 
अंडर कंसिडरेशन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ सेम कॉम्पोनेंट्स बट विदाउट रिगार्ड ऑफ एलो कॉम्पोजिशन ओके नाउ वी कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड नेक्स्ट इज द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम वाट इज द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम रेफर टू ए नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एसोसिएटेड विद द सिस्टम एग्जाम्पल टेम्परेचर प्रेशर एंड कॉम्पोजिशन तो दीज आर द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स विच आर कॉल्ड द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द सोलिबिलिटी लिमिट सोलिबिलिटी लिमिट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड विद एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सॉल्ट एंड शुगर इन द वाटर इफ वी मिक्स सॉल्ट और शुगर इन वाटर देन वी विल फाइंड दैट अप टू आफ्टर ए लिमिट सॉल्ट और शुगर विल स्टॉप टू मिक्स टू सोल्यूबल इन द वाटर and this will precipitate precipitate uh, uh, on the on the bottom so uh, here are we have different examples so what is the solubility solubility uh, solubility limit is a maximum concentration of solute atoms that may dissolve in in the solvent to form a solid solution for example water and alcohol have unlimited unlimited solubility water and salt have limited solubility and oil and water have virtually no solubility matlab mean, lagbhag oil and water ko solubility nahi hoti hai next is the phase what is a phase a phase is defined as a homogeneous portion of an alloy system that has uniform physical and chemical properties uh, chemical characteristics for example uh, uh, example of brass if we mix zinc about 37% 37% zinc in copper then this will be formed alpha brass alpha brass and uh, if i mix about uh, 50% and more zinc then this will be formed beta brass ओके ओके तो दीज आर द सम टर्म्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द फेस डायग्राम एंड इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस मोर अबाउट द फेस डायग्राम ओके इफ यू हैव सम प्रॉब्लम यू मे आस्क ओके थैंक यू